and a senior at Judge Memorial High School in Salt Lake City. This school year has definitely been strange. In order for us to be back at school, there have to be several precautions in place. Our stairwells are labeled up and down. We also have tables and signs in the hallways that indicate which direction student traffic should go. When I'm at school, my classes are very spread out. Desks are all spread six feet apart and students are encouraged to maintain the distance throughout class. Some classes even choose to work outside on the beach or in the prayer garden. Lunch is another part of Judge that has changed quite a bit this year. The cafeteria is filled with stickers and tape indicating where students can sit. All these measures make it hard for students to eat in the cafeteria, which means that students usually choose to eat outside on the beach or in various classrooms. Since Judge has chosen a hybrid return to school, I study from home for half of the week. Since my last name starts with S, I stay home Monday and Tuesday and go to in-person classes on Thursday and Friday. Online school is nice because I get to sleep in in the morning and I get to study at my desk. The worst part is definitely that I don't get to see people in the hallway. I really do miss seeing friends in between classes and sitting with them in the cafeteria. Every day after school, I go to tennis. I'm so grateful that our season wasn't canceled as tennis has become my one source of normalcy. With school being so different, my schedule is so hectic. Sports help bring it all back. I love ending my day playing tennis. I get to see friends and have a lot of fun. And this is what going back to school has been like since COVID-19. Masks are required everywhere in the school at all times, and there are many signs pointing towards where you can enter the school and where you can exit the school. This includes the one-way hallways. Signs and tables are used as barriers for which ways students can walk going one way and which way students can walk going the other way. In addition to all of these safety precautions, desks are required to be sanitized after every single use in the classrooms. Use of outdoor spaces is heavily encouraged by the faculty. We can eat lunch outside and sometimes teachers will take us outside to do our schoolwork. Thursdays and Fridays are my virtual learning days, so I usually wake up around 7.30 in the morning. Then I go to my closet and I pick out a spirit top, which is required to wear during Zoom classes. After that, I go and start to get ready for the day and I brush my teeth, brush my hair, all of that stuff. And then around 8 a.m. is when my classes start and I set up my workspace for the day. The start of this school year has been much different than the start of normal school years. This year, on Monday and Tuesdays, I wake up and I go to school online. Um, we are supposed to log into our classes every day and go to each period. Each period has a Zoom call and um, we treat it just like a normal school day, just on our computers. It's a lot different because I don't see a lot of my friends during the day because most of them are at school while I'm at home. But I'm getting used to it and I still see them on the weekends and so it's not as bad as I thought it would be at first. We have a 5 to 4 block schedule on Monday and a 5 to 8 block schedule on Tuesdays and the same goes for Thursday and Friday. I'm actually at school on Thursday and Friday though, so my schedule changes a lot throughout the week. On Monday and Tuesday, I'll go to school online, um, and after all four periods, I'll get in my car and go to cross-country practice. I think all of us, especially as seniors, are just trying to make the best of what we've got, and we would all definitely rather be in school for half the week than not in school at all. You're welcome. I would say the biggest differences this year are the COVID-19 precautions that we have to take. Um, when we're at school, we have to wear masks all day, and the halls are like a street um, because we have to stay on the right side of the halls at all times. Um, there's also certain staircases that are for walking up and walking down. As a senior at Judge Memorial with the last name ending in B, my week starts off with two days of in-class instruction. 
I leave my house around 7.30 to get to school on time and head over to my first class of the day. When walking around the halls at Judge, there are certain rules you must follow, like following the directions for one-way hallways, not idling in between classes while talking to friends, and always wearing a mask. In class, you start by sanitizing your desk. Although things look a little different in the classroom with the spread out desks and masks, it's nice to learn in person. On Thursdays and Fridays, it's my side of the alphabet's turn to do online learning. Before my first Zoom meeting starts, I make sure to set up my workspace in my kitchen so I can be as productive as possible. Each teacher handles Zoom meetings a little bit differently, but they all make sure we get the same experience as we would if we were in person. Judge has also started up sports again. Every day after school, I have volleyball practice. And although we have to sanitize balls, take our temperatures, and wear a mask while playing, it is so nice to have the opportunity to be in the gym again. I'm very glad that Judge spent so much time creating a plan for us, and I hope this year works out. Here's how my day begins. After I eat breakfast and get ready in the morning, I log into Zoom and join my scripture class. I spend the whole day learning and studying until 2.45, which is when we get out of school. What do you think? Like, um, what's from a health standpoint? What do you think about that? Why is that when I get the opportunity to go to school in person, school feels super different and quiet. There is no one in the cafeteria, halls are empty and quiet, and there are signs everywhere. And even the classrooms feel super lonely. Before, everyone was able to be together, but now we are all separated and have to always stay six feet apart no matter what. We are all required to wear masks, and if I'm lucky, I will run into some friends in the hallway and say hi to them. After school ends, I work on homework and try to get everything done right away. Later at night, I check Canvas and make sure all of my homework is turned in. My nighttime routine consists of me checking my Gmail for the last time and watching my favorite show. And finally, I go to bed.